Welcome to your inner thigh and sculpt workout. Yes, today we are gonna crush your inner thighs. You are gonna leave this workout with an intense burn and also a healthy, happy mindset. My name is Rebecca Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. It makes so much difference to us creators. So if you could just hit that subscribe button, that would mean everything to me. All right, are you ready to burn those inner thighs? Let's drop down to your mat. Absolutely anybody can do this workout because I'm going to give you modifications and I'm going to make it easier, I'm going to make it harder, I'm going to make it really, really hard so wherever you are at right now is absolutely perfect. Okay, so if you've got weights, we can also add in your weights as well. We are going to do 40 seconds of exercise, a 15 second rest. We're going to go through it a few times to make sure that you are feeling the burn. Our first exercise, you're going to put those weights, if you want to use weights, right on your hips. You're going to come up and you're just going to take it in and out. So I want you to really press your feet firm into the ground. Push your hips up nice and high, and here we go. That's it, so you're just gonna tap your knee together, your feet are hip width distance apart. If you've got those weights, just place them on the top of your hips, relax your shoulders, relax the head, your face, no tension in your neck and your jaw. All of that tension is going right in your inner thighs. All right, here we go, that's it. Bring those knees in together, give yourself a smile for showing up today. Half the battle in life is no matter what's happening in your life, right? Right, things and universe always gets in the way, but we don't have to allow it. We can say we're gonna show up anyway. All right, keep that going. Give me three and two and one and gently release. Now, if you've got our ankle weights, you can also add an ankle weight to this one as well. Great exercise to use your ankle weight. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna press down into your hands. We're gonna lift up and we're gonna take it up and down. So press down into your hands, lifting up through your chest. Now flex your heel and use your inner thigh to lift up and down. That's it, here we go. Press down into your hands, lifting up through the chest. Remember, I've got modifications as well. So if you can't do this right here, no problem. It doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter where somebody else is at. It all matters on your own progress. So if you are stronger than you were yesterday, that is what we are going for. All right, press down into your hands. That's it, squeeze your thigh. Here we go. Press the other knee out to the side, lifting up. And we got this for three and two and one and gently release down. All right, rotate those wrists from left to right. Get yourself feeling really good. Shake it from side to side. We're gonna do that same leg and we're gonna take it into circles going outwards, okay? So if you wanna bring your hands out this way too, depending on what your wrists feel like, you can bring your wrists back. Or if you feel like, oh, you know what, this hurts my wrist too much, you can always come all the way down right here and do exactly the same. So here we go. So what I want you to do with this one is slightly to turn out your leg, okay? You're gonna really start to feel it in that inner thigh. So lifting up through your chest, whether you wanna come up onto your hands or you wanna take it low, you're just taking a nice circle using your inner thigh. I really want you to focus on that inner thigh is bringing your leg out. Here we go, lifting up through your chest, give yourself a smile, you got this. Here we go, in three, in two, in one, and release. All right, shake out those legs, we're gonna take it the same thing over the other side. If you want to, you can come all the way up, press down into those fingertips, lifting up, and we're gonna take it to up and down. Now press those hips up nice and high, squeeze your glutes, and just take that leg up and down. Press that other knee out to the side and just try and press down into your fingertips, lifting up through your chest. Nice work. Ah, we got this, all right. You're gonna fight all the way through this workout, okay? If you feel like quitting, I always say just there's a power in doing one more, all right? See if you can just do one more rep and then do one more rep. That's it, one more workout. Lifting up through your chest, squeeze those glutes, try and press those hips up to the sky and you've got this. Come on, all the way through and five, breathe through it for four. In three, two, one, and gently release. Take your wrist, take it from left to right. And if you want to, you can come down onto your elbows right here as we take those circles going outwards, okay? So circles going outwards right here, that's it. Now lifting up through the chest, but what you want to do is all that focus is on the inner thigh. So turn out your foot and flex your heel. That's it, drop down oh, into your chest, but dropping those shoulders and then really gonna to start to feel it in that inner thigh right now. Flex that foot even more. Turn that leg out. Here we go, come on, nice little circles. Inner thighs should be on fire right about now. Woo, we got this. All right, all the way through. Just taking a couple of smiles, knowing that you're here, that you're making it happen for yourself. And we have got this. Less than 10 seconds to go. Breathe through it. And we got this for five, four, three, 
two, one, and release. All right, here we go. I'm gonna also add a timer here so that I know exactly where we are at. Okay, so we're gonna take it onto our side. We're gonna take it toe to knee, but you can also add a weight right here. So you're just gonna lift up and then you're gonna tap right here. I'm just gonna move my microphone back right here so that you guys can hear me. So all you're gonna do is take that toe and tap it in. So up and tap. That's it, so the leg stays extended. Remember, I've got a modified version for you as well, so there's no reason why not everybody can do this. Now think about turning that leg out. So you don't wanna be straight on top of your hips, you wanna think about turning that toe out. That's it, nice, long, elongated legs, looking strong and toned, keep going through it. That's it, breathe every single rep, it counts, it makes a difference for three and two, and one, and gently release. All right, we're gonna stay on this side, and we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna take it into little pulses. So again, you can use that weight right here, and all you're gonna do is little pulses right here. So if you want to, if you feel like you're getting more tension in your lower leg, relax the foot, and make the tension right there in your thigh. You can see your thigh muscle is moving. Use your thigh to lift that leg up and down. That's it. Now press down into that elbow, lift up a little bit higher through the chest, and here we go, keep squeezing in and out with a nice little smile and that mindset, that belief that you can do it. Oh, you're gonna be able to keep on pushing forward. Here we go, looking good. We've got about 10 seconds left to go. Keep working hard on this side, turning that toe out. That's it, working that inner thigh. You get a little bit of that outer glute as well that's working and we got this. Let's go for three, two, one and release. Okay, we're gonna take it straight over to the other side. So same thing that you did. All we're gonna do is bring that hip on top of each other and then take it, tap in and out. Here we go. Add that weight for a little bit extra resistance and then turn out your leg. Here we go. So tap into that inner thigh right there, just between your knee, behind your knee, in between your calf and your thigh. That's it, looking good, strong. Whew, breathe through it. Oh, so good. Extend that leg nice and long. Think about really turning it out, lengthening your legs. Here we go. You have got less than 20 seconds to go on this side. Then we're gonna take it into your pulses. You're looking good, you're looking strong. Just remember, you've gotta do the work. The work is what is gonna get you the results. There's no way about it. If you put in the work, I promise you, you'll get the results. That's what's gonna happen. Three, two, one, and just release. Take a little bit of a breath. Take a nice inhale. Oh, take a nice big exhale. And we're gonna take it into those little pulses in three, two, one, so right here. Now, if you feel like you're getting too much tension, and another part of your leg, not your inner thigh, you can just relax your foot, but take those little pulses right here. Lifting up through your chest, give yourself a smile. You'll find you'll feel this a little bit on the outside of the glute as well. Woo, yes, definitely gonna tone up that area too. All right, here we go. What are you made of in today's workout? Are you saying to yourself, I got this, or are you saying like, oh, I'm just gonna do one more exercise and I'm gonna give up? No, all right, we gotta change the belief. We gotta change your thinking. We gotta make you believe that when you put in that work, you are gonna get those results. All right, here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and gently release. All right, we're gonna take it into some fun little fire hydrants. We're gonna take them into a turned out version. Okay, so you can bring that weight behind your leg right here. You're gonna bring your hands down onto your mat. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fire hydrant, but we're gonna take it more like out to the back. So you've taken fire hydrants here out to the side. Now what I want you to do is really turn out that leg and then extend all the way up and down. Now try not to arch your back as you lift up that leg. All we want to do is get that tension in the thigh. So if you feel like pointing your toe is taking that tension out, just relax your foot and squeeze the weight. That's what you wanna think about, like squeeze that weight behind you, press down into those fingertips, lifting up through your chest. Here we go, 10 seconds on this side, keep breathing through it. Inhale and exhale, that's it. Really turn out your leg. Remember, you're working the inner thigh for three, two, one, and gently take a rest. We're gonna stay on this side, and we're gonna take it into pulses. Oh yes, all right, so really squeeze that weight behind your thigh, so squeeze it, and here we go, up and down, up and down, little pulses, that's it. Now really turn that leg out. You wanna work the inner thigh, squeeze the weight. When you squeeze the weight, or even if you don't have a weight there, you could put um, a water bottle, you could put like anything, like put something behind there, because when you're squeezing that little object, whatever it is, in between your leg, right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be able to feel that inner thigh working even more. So just grab something and then squeeze it, because you'll feel that inner thigh, woo, to the next level. That's it, keep squeezing that weight for me. Nice work, breathe through it. Come on, press down with those fingertips, lifting up through the chest for five, and four, three, 
two, one, and gently release. Nice work. All right, we're going to take it over to the other side. All right, pop that weight into the other side to really squeeze that weight behind the back of your thighs. Press down into your fingertips. Turn out that leg, right? So it's not a normal fire hydrant. It's all the way out to the back. And then don't arch your back. Keep everything else nice and straight. So a nice straight line from your head all the way through to your hips. And then we're going to extend all the way up to the sky. Now squeeze that weight nice and tight. Give yourself a smile. You know that when you put in the work, you are going to get the results. So enjoy this, right? Enjoy the burn. Enjoy you pushing yourself. Enjoy you finding it hard so that you can grow to the next level. That's it. Take that leg a little bit higher. Now squeeze the weight even more. Really think about squeezing the weight in between your legs. That's it. Whatever you've got right there, just really think about squeezing it for the last three and two and one and release. Okay, we're going to take it into those pulses. So take a nice big breath in. Get yourself ready. It's just 40 seconds. You can do anything for 40 seconds. That's it. Now turn out that leg, squeeze and pulse. Now try and relax the foot and all the tension wants to be right behind your knee. So squeeze everything nice and tight. Press down into your fingertips, lifting up through your chest and squeeze. You are doing so great. You are doing so good. You want to keep on pushing yourself. That's it. Both hips facing down towards the ground and tiny little pulses. That's it. You're going to feel a little bit in those glutes as well, but really work the inner thigh by turning out your leg more. The more that you turn out that leg, right, bring that knee up to the sky, the more that you squeeze the weight, the more that you're going to feel it. Here we go. And breathe for three and two and one and release. All right, we're going to take it to our final exercise. So coming all the way back down, we're going to take it into those in and out. So grab both of your weights all the way down, weights on top right here, push those hips up to the sky and then back to that original exercise. Both feet facing flat onto the ground and your hips are going to go nice and high up to the sky and then tap those knees together. All right, here we go. Come on, the last burn. Let's see if we can just get that a little bit faster. Let's pick up that pace right here. That's it, no tension in your neck, your jaw, all of that wants to go right in your thighs. Press those hips up a little bit higher. Give yourself a smile and here we go. We're looking strong, we're looking good. Ooh, 10 seconds is on the clock. Do not quit, push yourself. What are you made of today? You are made Ooh, to do just a little bit more. Give me one more and then gently release down. All right, roll all the way up. If you enjoyed that workout, then make sure that you download my burn app because every day I give you a full length workout to do. There's a whole bunch of programs that you can choose from as well. There's a nutrition section where you can book a call with me. There is a whole mindset section and everything that you need to help you get those results that you are looking for both mentally and physically. Okay, if you are up for the challenge, are you up for a challenge? I got one more workout for you to do. Pick which one it is. Don't think too much. If you like left, pick left. If you like right, pick right. Press play and keep on going.